everyone, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here, following on from my last video where I did a review of these Novocast Miniatures Neapolitan 7th Regiment for the Napoleonic period. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a painting guide today. A um, lot of white and yellow on the uniform, so I have started with a white undercoat. Um, I'm now giving the whole model um, a wash to add a bit of shading to this white in a straightforward and quick way. This wash is a mix of Army Painter Light Tone and Quick Shade Mixing Medium. It's one part light tone to two parts Quick Shade Mixing Medium. Um, I'll apply that over the whole model, give it about 20 minutes to dry. After the wash is dried, I'm going to do a dry brush over the whole model using some Vallejo Model Color Ivory. I am painting his skin with some Army Painter Oak Brown for the base coat. This is Vallejo Express Imperial Yellow. I'm going to be picking out the facings on the model. So, start with the uh, lapels there. I'm also going to do the cuffs. I'm going to get the piping on the cuff flap. And I'll also be doing the turnbacks and collar as well. Next paint in use is Citadel Contrast Black Templar. Um, I'm going to use this on this wonderful bear skin that the Grenadier is wearing. I'm um, also going to do his hair. Down at the bottom of the model, we've got boots and gaiters. On the rear um, there is the cartridge box and hanging at his side um, we've got a sabre. I'm going to base coat the wood of the musket with Vallejo Express Wasteland Brown. Um, I'm also going to use this brown for the fur of the pack, leaving the straps in white, um, and this gourd as well. This is Contrast Basilicanum Grey. And I'm going to pick out the great coat on the back of his pack here. I have quite a few details to pick out in red. I have Leho Express Plasma Red. So on the bearskin, the plume. Also the cord. On top, we've got a red fabric area around the white um, grenade symbol, uh, shoulder epaulets, a cord on the sabre, and at the back of the lapel, uh, sorry, the back of the turnbacks, little grenade symbols. So I'll fill out all these red areas and then have a look at them when they're done. I've got speed paint from the Army Painter now and this is Enchanted Steel. I'm going to do the bayonet and musket barrel. Quite a few buttons to take care of um, and I'm doing them with Speed Paint Glittering Loot. A little grenade symbol on the cartridge box. Hilt of the Sabre. 
um, and also the end of the scabbard. Um, I went back over that with ivory because I did go a bit overboard with the um, black templar earlier. One or two highlights can really start to make the model sing. Um, the skin is getting a highlight with Vallejo Game Color Dark Flesh. I did dry brushing with ivory earlier, but by layering it on um, the straps and also going over any areas where you might have overpainted, we can add a, a bit of highlighting to the white. Um, and if you really want to push that highlighting, then a, a pure white would really bring out the highest points. Some highlights for the black are going on with some Army Painter Wolf Grey. Not picking out every individual strand of fur on the bear skin, but just picking out the odd one really adds a bit of extra texture. Let's do a fine edge. on the cartridge box. And on our scabbard there. Any bit of wood grain. This is wrap brown from coat arms. A really fine highlight on the knuckles, nose and cheeks is going to be done with some Army Painter Fur Brown. That will be my final highlight. It's some Vallejo Game Color Silver. on the musket and bayonet. I've just had a little disaster um, and I thought it's worth taking this uh, moment to show you what's happened. Um, if you look at the epaulets on the shoulder, uh, it's the easiest place to see. Um, the Express Plasma Red reactivated when I applied um, some Winsor & Newton acrylic matte varnish. Um, I haven't had reactivation problems before. Um, I have brush painted um, Army Painter anti-shine matte varnish over Express Colors and not had an issue. Um, but it would seem that the Winsor & Newton stuff uh, reacts, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it's a wonderful, very flat matte varnish um, and I don't think I'll be put off using it, um, but I won't be using it over um, Express uh, Plasma Red or Wasteland Brown. It's come away a bit on the musket stock and the yellow um, of the collar as well. So I need to tidy this all up um, and finish the basing for a final look. Right, I've overcome that little disaster. Um, perhaps it was useful to see that things do go wrong with painting and there is a, a way to overcome them. Um, I fixed up the red with some Vallejo Scarlet and Wild Rider Red from Citadel um, and the brown with uh, light brown from Vallejo and extra opaque heavy sienna as well um, and some flat yellow. So back to the model, it's nice sculpt, the details are really well um, defined, they're easy to pick out with a brush. Um, and it's nice to see uh, something done uh, specific for, specifically for the Neapolitan uh, uniform with its slight differences from the French. Hopefully it's been a useful video for you all. Um, I am delighted uh, to have had the opportunity to uh, paint this model up and I will certainly be looking to get myself some more Novocast miniatures 
in the future when they expand on their range. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.